really didn't remember. When we used to make tomatoes and he was little, tomato sauce, uh, bumarola, like they say in Naples. Uh, and he was little, and Grandma used to literally throw him out of bed and say, Alessandro, it's 6 a.m., you have to get up, because we had to walk to a Tamarina's house, which was just down the block, and you're in charge of bringing the bucket. So they would walk to a Tamarina's house, where everybody would be there, the whole family, with the tent set up. My father used to start the fire, because in those days, we're talking about maybe 1990, 91, we didn't have the gas, uh, we didn't have the gas uh, uh, thing to make the, the tomatoes. So we used to get gather the wood, just like the farmers. <laughs> it sounds like a little house on the prairie, right? Um, and that's uh, his remembrance. And I was so happy that uh, he remembered that, little as he was, that it was such a happy occasion where everybody would have their own job. We had uh, someone cut the tomatoes like I'm doing now. Someone wash them like Katie's doing now. And smile, smile had, washing. And everybody had their own uh, job, their own uh, chore, their own... Uh, Whatever, you know. And then we were all done. We make a huge big pot of sauce, sit under the tent and enjoy enjoy the the what's the word? Oh, our hard work. Enjoy the the outcome. Mm. You know, like right after the harvest when the contadini, the farmers, finish doing whatever the crops and then, and then enjoy the the crops. So it really is this tomato making day. It's not just about the tomatoes and the food. It's about being together, socializing, and enjoying the day. Everybody having their own choice and enjoying what they're doing. And then at the end, um, I'm trying to think of the right terms, but at the end, enjoying the the of your neighbor. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. The fruits, smile, smile about fruits. That's the exact word. Tomatoes, definitely. What was the word? <laughs> what was the word? The fruits of the fruits our labor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the phrase I was trying to, yeah, okay. to find. But I am so glad that Katie, after so many years, so many years, three years, trying to get here to make uh, pumarola, she finally made it. And there she is, washing tomatoes, and come on, I'll show you here. She's like a professional, you know. <laughs> Gotta make sure there's no dirt. <laughs> no dirt. So, and she already got it down pat, 100%. So everybody has a job. Steven is our official uh, okay. photographer, documentarian. <laughs> Katie is washing the tomatoes. I'm cutting them. Uh, Tamarina outside, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. Everything. She's, she's, yeah, she's uh, supervising. Uh, Rita, if the tomatoes could talk, what would they say? I am so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> they say, cut my throat, please, Rita. <laughs> I am so happy that I'm going to make you happy. <laughs> uh, okay. That's what they're saying right now. Mm. They're not too upset that I'm cutting their head off. They're not upset? Nah, nobody, nobody screams. They, okay. See? Oh, see, not, see the happy face? Yeah, they're not sentient tomatoes. Okay. Before we saw uh, a tomato that was going rotten, me and Katie, yeah. and it was two eyes. They look like exactly t like two so eyes. So you think that was a devil tomato? Could have been. Uh, I don't know. They were kind of staring at us a little bit. Yeah, well, maybe uh, maybe that one said, I'm going to get her. Yeah, but we were not scared, right, Katie? No. We're not scared. Okay. So... It's only a hundred pounds of tomatoes that we're making. That's all. How much sauce is going to make at a hundred uh, pounds of tomatoes? We you know, we don't know until we grind it. So yeah. some tomatoes depends also on the year. Is there a lot of rain? You're going to get tomatoes are going to be more watery, and you're going to get less pulp. But if it's a dry season, the tomatoes are going to be dry, so we're going to get a lot of pulp. The other way, we get a lot of liquid because of the water. So, and they come in here, Stephen. These are the crates where the tomatoes come in. 50 pounds. 
Could have sound each. There's already jars on the table. And uh, so the process really is cutting the tom washing the tomatoes, cutting the tomatoes. Then you bring them outside and we boil them for about a half hour. We're giving away all the family secrets. Well, is there is there is there like another family secret, like a secret thing that you do, like? You have to say some magic words over the tomatoes or something? Uh, well, no, but if you tell you all the secrets, then we're going to have to kill you. So, we can't do that. So, you say the tomatoes, buona fortuna. Buona fortuna. Or well, you never say, non lo posso mangiare. No, never. That means we cannot eat it. I know. Trust me, I know. So, that's the process. <laughs> you boil no. them outside, you grind them, and then, you see this part over here? Yeah. That part over there needs to be out. It's uh, not ripe yet. Yeah, it's not. That's what it means. That's offensive. And it won't, it won't grind. The uh -huh. problem is if you don't take it out, it'll be very hard to grind. Yeah, what's the most unusual thing you've ever seen when you cut open a tomato? Uh, worms. Worms? Worms. I don't remember really well, what would One you? of them once we opened up, it was, it was all, all like little... Hold on. Now you're telling this. It was all like fruit worms. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did the worm did the worm have any like mustaches or something? No. Mm. Not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mustache. Yeah, Cal they're Italian worms. Alex, you tell your little written recollection when you were little making from the Oh, me. well, it was it was a great story. It was like uh, my grandma. She'd wake me up at five thirty in the morning, and we would. Uh, She'd wake me up, right get bag. us moving, right and then uh, we'd walk from my grandmother's house in Oceanside to my other, to my aunt's house, which was not that far away, holding the bucket that we used to use to wash the tomatoes in. And we'd get there, and first thing it would make me do is get on my knees and wash the tomatoes. So that was my job because I was the youngest. I was five or six, and uh, I wasn't allowed to push the tomatoes, but I could uh, help them put the basil in and jar it. At what age did you graduate to pushing the tomatoes? Uh, I never did. They stopped doing it before, before I was old enough to. Do you do you regret that? No, because uh, I get to push the tomatoes now and and uh, kind of help manage the situation. Even though my aunt Marina is here to really put us in our place, but you know. <laughs> so, so so if somebody called you a tomato pusher, would yeah. would that offend you? Not at all. It's a it's an honor. It's like a it's like a rite of passage. Rite of passage, or even uh, you know. A level in, you know, like a general, or if you don't call it, yeah, the commander of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're like a general tomato pusher? Yes, exactly. As opposed to a specific tomato pusher? Right, exactly. Okay. You get it. Okay, very good. <laughs> this whole part right there is going to pop. So okay. what happens is, Stephen, you get a tomato like that. Yeah. Uh, the reason we lay out the tomatoes on the table, by the way, is for this reason. Because when you buy them, you keep them for three days, and some of them will rot. Yeah. So they did say that this year um, the tomatoes are going to be very unusual because we have such hot weather. Right. So they dried them out, which is really not that good. Right. So, so, had, so, right yeah. The farmer where I buy the tomatoes, he said mm. that really tomatoes, they need the heat, but also at night, they need, the, the, cool, they need yeah. the cool weather. Just like wine grapes. Huh? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So this year is going to be, we don't know until we grind this, how many jars. So, so when they're making wine, uh, they adjust what they do uh, to uh, deal with the, the variations in, in, in seasonal climate. It's exactly so, like so, but, but you don't have, you don't have the opportunity uh, to do that as part of the growing process. No. Uh, so you didn't like get to harvest them early or, or anything like that. So in this stage of the production of the tomato sauce, is there anything that you can do to adjust for the for the heat of the season? Yes. What? The adjusting the cooking, you mean? Yeah. The cooking? Yes. The preparation and the cooking. So usually you take the tomatoes and you boil them, right? Mm -hmm. If you had a very uh, dry season, you don't need to strain the tomatoes because they're not going to add too much water. So you will see outside that we have a colander right. where we put the tomatoes and put the excess water. If they're going to be too watery, because you want pulp, you don't want water 
in your tomatoes. Right. That's the idea, to make them fresh. Because when you buy them already in the jar, they just jar whatever. They'll take this and they'll jar it. And that's what makes the tomato bigger. So by doing this, what we take out in this process, it makes the tomato uh, pure, if you want to say, the pulp. See, you want the pulp in yeah. the tomato. Yeah. And well, you want, you want the flesh too, right? Right. And the other secret is, a lot of people, they boil the tomatoes, and they put them in a the blender. They'll take them and put them in a the blender. But what happens in the blender? You have seeds. And the seeds will make the sauce bitter. Oh. So never put them in the blender. That's the reason we have that process. Like a ricer, where the pulp and the seeds go on one side. Uh, I mean, the, the skin and the... The seeds go on one side, and the pulp goes. When when Lydia Bastianich finishes one of her programs, yes. she holds up a glass of wine and she says something like uh, avo, "avo tavola" or something. Tutti a tavola. Tutti a tavola. It means so, every one of the two. So, do you have your own uh, catchphrase to end your program here? When I finish with tomatoes? Yeah, when you finish with tomatoes. Like, what's your, what's your Lydia-like catchphrase? Hallelujah. Phrase? <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, I was like Alessandro. I hated it. In yeah. Italy, my mom used to get us up early in the morning, and all I wanted to do is go to the beach. You know, Sicily, the weather was still very, very hot, and all I wanted to do is go to the beach. So how do you, how do you say to the beach in Italian? Alla spiaggia. Alla oh, spiaggia. Okay, so hold up a tomato. <laughs> and, and to the camera and say, Alla spiaggia. Alla spiaggia when I finish the tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> so we used to hurry, try to finish, me and my sister Rose and my sister Maria, try to finish early so we could go to the beach. Okay. So one, 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 more, one more time, we're, we're going to wrap this video. So one more time to the beach. To the, alla spiaggia. Look at tutti, the like Lydia Bastianovic says, yes. tutti a tavola, right? And right, one right, the right. Table. And uh, tutti a tavola, we used to say tutti to the beach, alla spiaggia. <laughs> okay. Tutti alla spiaggia. Yes. M mille, mille grazie. Prego. Now, Start again. The reason why we're doing this now yeah. is because I love the tradition so much, and I remember, and when I met Katie, I was telling her about it, how we used to do it when she was a kid, and she said that she would love to start doing this. So about five years ago, we started doing it a little bit at a time, a couple tomatoes here, a couple pounds here, and it eventually has evolved into this, which hopefully I'm hoping it'll evolve into even more, and more and more and more, but yeah, like, I look forward to this every year. Okay, let's see how the, let's see how the tomatoes that are cooking are doing. Yeah, definitely. Now these are just the boiled tomatoes. I'm transferring them to another pot so they can start passing them and then I can start cooking some more. I'm leaving the liquid inside because it'll just create more flavor for the next one. That's a lot of liquid though, huh? It's okay, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of liquid. Now Rita said this was a dry year so that uh, some, yes. somehow that's affected the tomatoes. A little bit. Uh, what, are you seeing, what are you seeing that reflects the, the dryness well, of the what season? I'm, what I'm, uh, so what I'm noticing is that the water isn't like very watery. It's more like tomato-y. So like this liquid would normally look like a separation of water and tomato, yeah. whereas now it's more tomato homogenous than it is like just sitting in liquid. So, so this is all yeah. good good stuff. So the liquid is already on its way to becoming sauce. Yeah, exactly. And this liquid, we're, we're most likely not even going to use this liquid. We're just going to reduce it down and then maybe we can like make pasta in it and stuff, but oh. we would never actually use this because sometimes the water has a tendency to be bitter. Well, can you, does it, is it cheating to sweeten it up with sugar? Uh, I mean, not cheating, but like, we we don't do that. We like to have the natural flavor of the tomato be what's sweet. Mm -hmm. But like the liquid, it's it, it's all the it's all the compounds of the tomato in it. So it's got its bitter, it's got its sweet, it's got all, everything in it, but sometimes the liquid has a little tendency to be a little extra bitter. So aside from the, from the tomatoes, what ingredients would you put in to the final sauce combination uh just some salt uh, we're gonna uh sorry saute some onions or garlic and uh, or garlic not both um no not both uh i mean if it's garlic when it's fish it's onions when it's meat uh and then uh and then we just try to get the sweetness from the onion maybe a little like a piece of carrot yeah. just to 
make that sweet, but we try not to add sugar. Yeah. My my father's mother used to add sugar. I loved that sauce, but like I didn't realize it was because the tomatoes weren't sweet. It was because the sugar was sweet. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Marina, Marina, Marina. Don't like that. 